we are set for the final of the Helm Cup. Just for matter of interest, George Smith, captain of the Bulls, will second year run, last year's winners. This year, Aragon are in the final, who were third place last year. So it should be a good final. Most likely is to look out for number three for the Busby Bills, Liam Helpin, one of the top scorers of the tournament. And Sean Cawley here is beside me, number eight, for the Aragon. And the two most likely boys to put the ball in it. It's a fine evening here at the point, Westport. It's a good turnout for the finals. We're hoping for a good hour. Today's official is Christian Morton Sr., who's a Mayor League referee. His linesmen are Pat Foley and Pat Duffy. The Busby's to kick off. They're playing from left to right. Busby's to kick off. Coffee. Coffee wins the second time round, cleared by Cameron. Cameron number four for Oregon. It's a throw to the Busby, taken by number 13, Paddy Byrne. Paddy plays it too. He's centre half, Mick McLaughlin. Mick plays a long ball upfield, won by young Gerard Duffy. Duffy loses it to Cawley. Cawley for Oregon. It's a long ball in. I think it's covered by the keeper here. Yes, Morden has it. He rolls it out, gives it out to Gerard Duffy, number nine. Duffy takes on, Cawley, Cawley fouls Duffy, so it's a free up. To be taken by Smith, the captain. Smith leaves it for McLaughlin, Mick. Michael sends a long, long ball up the field, but it's gone out of play and it's a throw into Aragon Young Duffy could not get his contact to that ball. John Nixon with the throw for Aragon Pays it to Cawley. Cawley lays it off to Cameron. Cameron sends the ball down, but it's covered by McLaughlin easily. And McLaughlin is fouled by his namesake, Danny McLaughlin. It's a free to the Busby Babes. I think Michael got a, a feed of dust that time in his face. And we've had the first casualty of the final. And the game was only on about two minutes. Lachlan was in the desert here. He, the Busby Bay manager, Mr. Noel Duffy, is there worried about his team and taking good care of his players. So now the free kick will be taken after that sh short delay by Paddy Byrne for the Busbys. Paddy sends the ball up the field, won by young Ger Duffy. He takes on, he loses it to Foody. Paul sends it out over the line, it's a throw to the Busbys. To be taken by Coffey. Coffey a long ball into the middle, helping rise is high for it, but it's Cameron has it covered here. He's half blocked down by Gerard Duffy, but Finney Hopkins clears the danger. Way over the halfway line. Porrick Welch making a go for it here, but he's not going to reach it. Gerard Smith, the captain of the Busbys, just instead. It's played to Coffey. Coffey to Gerard Duffy. Duffy up to helping. Helpin loses the control of it, so it's to throw into Allegan A. Taken by Nixon. Plays the ball forward to Welch. Won again by Smith. Helpin challenges with Nixon. Helpin wins it. O'Connor has it. And he's lost it to Finney Hopkins, centre half for Allegan. Finney is also a centre forward. Barred the heroes. Throwing to be taken by Coffey. Coffey plays the ball forward. It looks like a, an Allegan ball nose as the referee. It's a free kick. Free kick for the Busby Babes. Free kick to be taken by 
John Coffey. Coffey and Helper now working it here together. So Coffey has left it for Helper. The referee is telling him to hush it up. It's a great ball. Can there be a result here? O'Connor heads it outwards. It's won by Paul Moody. Moody going forward. He's robbed by Young Duffy. Duffy has it. He couldn't keep it in, so it's an ball. To be taken by Eddie Groan. Eddie plays the ball down the line to Moody. Moody takes it on.